It's time for our technology segment and joining us now is our tech reporter, Paul Ndiho. Hello, Paul. Hello, Esther. How are you? Our Paul CEO, Tim Makuka, says that if you are a young person looking to learn a new language, you might want to consider Swift or other coding languages before learning to speak English. Well, joining me to talk about the future of coding is Agatha Turiakayo, a computer science student and teaching assistant at the University of Baltimore, uh, University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Uh, Triakayo, Ms. Triakayo is making her mark in the tech industry. She has won several Ingenuity Awards, hugging competitions, interned, gotten paid internships at NASA, uh, Booz Allen and Hamilton, and more recently at Apple in San Francisco. Ms. Triakayo, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good, how are you? So what got you into uh, computer science? Great. Uh, so I took my first uh, computer science class uh, during my sophomore year of, hi of high school. And then my computer science teacher encouraged me to continue on with the classes. And so I decided to uh, major in it during college. Uh, how does it be, uh, feel to be a young black woman uh, competing at some of the highest levels? Uh, you've, for example, you've worked at uh, uh, some of these high-tech uh, companies, uh, what's uh, like uh, being uh, uh, part of uh, those uh, teams that uh, really uh, look for excellence? Right. So sometimes um, it's really cool to be up there and uh, be working on products that a lot of people all over the world use. And so um, it's definitely a challenge because um, you have to uh, always be learning and uh, teaching yourself things that um, didn't exist a month ago. So um, it's always a constant struggle of always learning and um, definitely keeping yourself up to speed. Uh, you also teach uh, computer science. Yeah, so. Uh, how is that different uh, from actually learning it? Right. Yeah, so with if learning yourself, um, it's a little bit different because you know what works best for you and um, how to teach yourself and how to review. Whereas when you're uh, teaching other students, there's a bunch of perspectives that you haven't seen before. And you have to take all of that into consideration when you're teaching uh, certain topics. Uh, how about uh, uh, for a younger black woman, uh, what does it uh, take her uh, to get into some of these places? There are a lot of young women who mm -hmm. look up to you and they say, I want to be like Agatha. What does it take? Right, so there are a ton of opportunities that you can take. Um, including um, internships, uh, pre-college programs, and uh, research programs. And you have to put yourself out there and apply for these things because um, I didn't think I'd get any of the internships I had. And if I didn't apply for them, then um, I'd be in a lot different situation than I am in right now. Who are your role models? Okay. So um, my role models, so one of them is my uh, computer science teacher from high school because um, she helped me a lot uh, during high school with uh, college recommendations and applying for internships. And uh, definitely my parents because they always uh, encourage me to um, strive for the best that I can be. And um, all of my professors in college have been very um, encouraging with um, getting the best grades. Uh, so um, I'm glad that your parents are here watching you in the control room. I'm sure they're very, very proud of you. Uh, when you talk to young girls, uh, what do you tell them, especially girls who are looking to get into this field? Right. So sometimes it can be really hard if you're the only girl or one of few girls, but uh, you have to remember that you earned the position that you're in and you have to keep uh, fighting to um, stay in your position. Uh, what are computer languages that uh, you uh, use? Right, so um, I use Python, C, C++, uh, Swift. And so generally, once you learn one language, it's not, um, it gets less hard to learn uh, other languages. Uh, you've competed in uh, several hacking competitions, and you won. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that like? Right, so during these hackathons, you're supposed to come out with a product. So that can be an app or a website or a computer program within uh, 24 or 36 hours, depending on the competition. And so usually you come in not knowing anyone and you have to create something within those few hours. And so 
uh, get very little sleep, but it's really rewarding to see um, how much you can build within such a short span of time. Uh, we have very a few seconds left. Uh, can you tell us uh, what would you tell young girls or young boys who want to be like you? Great. So uh, start early and uh, look for mentors that will help you um, in your journey. And always keep looking for opportunities and apply for them when they come your way. Well, Agatha, thank you so much for coming to our show. Yeah, thank you for having me. A pleasure. Agatha Triakayo is a computer science student and teaching assistant at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. That's today's take report. Back to you, Esther. Thank you so much, Paul. Be sure to join Paul Ndiho each Wednesday for another technology report right here on Africa 54. And that wraps up our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com from all of us here in Washington. Have a good evening.